Hi, Theo here from electroeffects.com. This is another video response to a request slash question in the electroeffects.com forums. And it's all about editing the MQ4 of the free tools that are provided. So if I just open up and we take a look at the tools provided, we'll take a look at the scripts. These are all of the free scripts provided uh, with your free account at electroeffects.com. If I put the instant buy on the chart, you can see the presets are quite simple. It's preset to 0 0.1. And we have a member that wants to change that to 1 permanently instead of having to do that every time they put this on the chart. These scripts are all accessible by hotkeys. So the idea is, you know, flow and, and speed. So as you increase your lot size, you've been through your learning process, you have your trading plan, you've proven to yourself that you can follow that plan and trade profitably, uh, you start building up your account, you're going to want to shift these up and increase your lot size. Now with the VIP tools, uh, this is all taken care of for you, but with these free tools, you will have to do it yourself. And it's a great opportunity to learn the very, very basics of Meta Editor and MQ4 itself. And when you first download all of these tools from electroeffects.com I give you the EX4 files and not the MQ4 you'll have to visit the forum to the thread that this video has been created for to get the MQ4 files uh, it's something that you know I feel is uh, it comes later so if you're at that stage you can go grab those MQ4 files and proceed as outlined here now you'll notice I've put the free tools in here and I've also put the V1 VIP tools in here just to show you something. I have the MQ4 files of these free tools in this MetaTrader, but I do not have the MQ4 files of these tools in this MetaTrader. So this little button up here is the Meta Editor button, and if I click that, it opens up this new platform for you to use. Here are the scripts, let's just take a look. Notice how only the free scripts are showing up and not those V1 VIP, and that's just because uh, these are the MQ4s I have. Anything EX4 will not show up here. You can't edit that. So if I open up the free ATM Instant Buy, you will recognize these variables right here, the lot size, the slippage, uh, the stop loss and the take profit. Those are the ones that are usually visible when you're placing uh, these items on the chart. The way that you can understand which is which, anything with an extern in front of it would mean it's an external user variable that you can see. Now you will see some other stuff in here and I'm not going to talk about it in these in this video um, or really in the free course. I mean it's self-explanatory to those that have good MQL knowledge. Uh, for now the purpose of this video is just a very basic introductory level uh, view at using the meta editor here and with main focus on how you would change your lot size permanently and perhaps even your stop loss and take profit defaults permanently. Uh, the rest is up to you if you play around with it. I'm just, as I say, covering the basics here. So uh, the same applies to the sell and uh, the instant stop loss. You know, you can change these values. Whenever you change a value on any of these items that you can now see in the uh, right side of your screen here in this navigator, if I were to change on this buy script for example I wanted to move up now and change 0 0.2 I just have to hit compile and once that's compiled I make sure I have no errors or warnings this has now been saved with that as the default I may want to shift my default stop loss also uh, put them uh, both at 80 for example and compile that and now that has changed on a permanent basis if I close that off and we go back to our MetaTrader itself I'll take this instant buy script and put it on the chart and you can see now that the defaults have been updated and you don't need to do it on on the move sort of thing. So that is how you would update your lot size. Um, this is the very, very basics. If you have knowledge of MQ4, this video will be quite useless to you. It's just for people that have never clicked that button and never taken a look in here and are interested to know how they can edit some of those user variables that they may be editing on the move on the fly but they want to do it for a, a you know on a permanent basis